I don't think I would ever personally like work at Google or Facebook. Free your body and your mind. Just because they want you to live there. They feed you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 12, 14 hour days. Like if you're a single dude and you just want to get your foot in the door for a couple of years, fine. But I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll hit burnout pretty fast at that rate. Also, I mean, you're still kind of depending on someone else to hand you that check at the end yeah. of the day. And if they ever decide to pull that away, which they've done to me like three times, like after the third time, I was like, all right, that's it. I'm never giving someone the power to like pull the paycheck away from me. Like it's my responsibility, I either, you know, sink or swim type deal. And this is like one of the only, I don't know, you don't need like a whole bunch of clientele to start up. Like you just start, you just make stuff and you just put it out there and if people like it, great, you monetize it or something. Yeah. yeah. Look, Look, I think, I think everybody, everybody here should, should start looking into how to make passive income. Look, even from um, any type of skill, any type of talent that you might have, you know, I've seen people that are good at editing, right? They create good at, at uh, you know, like animations on the side, sell that online. You put it up on, I, I believe it's uh, the same company that does Steam Forest. Um, dot, dot net, they you're able to sell either audio, either uh, video animations, um, you know, anything that you could you could think of, you could sell online. You have paintings, you know how to draw. Hey, sell T-shirts, sell whatever, right? But you cannot keep your head in, in, in the sense of like, yo, I have to work for a company. No, you go the way how I look at working for a company is. Setting yourself up to be able to have some capital to build your own uh, your own applications or your own company. You shouldn't okay. use a, a company as like that's your lifeline because when they cut that shit, somebody on the top does a bad decision and decides to say, oh, we got to start cutting the employees, then you get cut. You got what I'm saying? And that was nobody cares about you. You know, nobody needs to be loyal to a company if the, the companies are, are never going to be loyal to you. I mean, you're either building your own dreams or someone else's. And so that's what I think about every day I show up to work. I'm like, this is his dream. He started it. And for every dollar I get, he's getting 50. Um, and at any point in time, you can just be like, yeah, bye. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you. I'm out. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be on the bottom end of that, like the receiving end of that. I want to be the guy at the top. Like, why climb the ladder when you can own the ladder, you know?